So this is a cold plate or a jockey box, and basically what it does is it chills the lines inside here. So this has got an ice water bath in it, and there's a stainless steel coil that goes round and round and round and feeds the faucets. So the idea being that even if the beer out here starts to warm up, this will make it cold enough that it doesn't foam. Cold is not my problem right now. It's foaming for some completely different reason that I don't have time to mess around with and figure out. <laughs> So it's not an exact science, but as long as it tastes good. No, it's actually a very exact science. You just gotta have the time to mess around with it to get it to, to do what it's supposed to do. It's not gonna be a very glamorous shot because it's not pouring well, but... What's up, Gar? We can try and make it look like we know what we're doing. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, this really is a great event. Uh, we've been around Oh, going on to a quarter of a century here in a year or two, and, and Western Mass has just lost in terms of being a brewing mecca. Uh, when we first started, we'd have to travel an hour and a half to our buddies over in Westminster to watch use it, and now, honestly, I know I can get in my truck and in 20 minutes go to at least a dozen, and there's more on the horizon and it just makes it better for the whole industry. There's been so much creativity uh, over the years and people are coming up with new things and it really is a, a paradise for the beer drinker out there right now. I want to thank Melissa for, she's the one who spearheaded this whole uh, beer week and, and it was her drive and initiative to get it off the ground. She's done a marvelous uh, thing in just a very short amount of time. So thank you very much. And we want to thank Steve. <laughs> Steve Kulak, who has backed up our industry from the very beginning. There's uh, as much as there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of bureaucracy that needs to be maintained. I don't know if it needs to be maintained. No, no, it needs to be maintained. <laughs> needs to be dealt with and right. Steve has been a, a, a big supporter of the industry all across the state so thank you so much Welcome. for coming out. So have a great beer week everybody. So thank you Gary and BBC obviously for hosting us today to officially kick this thing off and on behalf of the Western Mass Beer Week Planning Committee, I uh, certainly want to thank Representative Kulik for coming out, um, especially we know how busy this budget season is right now. It is the weekend, right? Just a little history about Beer Week. It's safe to say that it's been percolating for a while. Um, certainly between uh, Sally and I since we went to school together, and it, it's amazing how many people have said to us over the last couple months, it just seems like this is something that should have always happened that why haven't we had a beer week? So it's definitely some, you know, we're doing it now, so it's not too late. Um, but really, it only goes back about two months, maybe even a month. <laughs> um, we had our first informational meeting on April 25th, and we had over 30 people there, which was beyond our expectations. And I can proudly say that everyone who attended that meeting signed on. So today we have 35 participating businesses in representing all four counties in Western Massachusetts, and they've created over 50 events just for this week. So. Um, so Beer Week is happening because we all came together with this shared vision of heightening visibility for our region, and we're taking, the stake, we're taking the first steps to synchronize ourselves as a tighter knit beer community. And we definitely couldn't have done it without everyone's support here in this room today. So our mission is to call attention to Western Mass as a beer destination. And we really do mean Western Massachusetts, all four counties, Berkshire, Hamden, Hampshire, and Franklin. Um, a couple people from the Berkshires were like, are we included? And we're like, absolutely, you're still in Massachusetts and you couldn't be more Western Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Our focus is on the beer that's brewed in Western Massachusetts for this first year, and that is pretty different from other beer weeks across the country. Um, a lot of other beer weeks have some of the big you know, whale breweries come in and, and showcase, but we have so much here that it wouldn't make sense to invite anybody else for this, especially the first year. Um, so I know from my role with the uh, Tourism Council, Hampshire County, in Hampshire County, that the breweries are a major draw for our visitor. Um, any writer that we've hosted this last year, they want to go to a brewery. Um, so I see that on BusyHampshireCounty.com too. It's the number one landing page aside from the home page. It's the breweries and wineries in Western Massachusetts. So that's what's calling attention to our region. And let's not forget about the impact the breweries have on our economy. In the last decade, across the country, there's been a 200% increase in the number of breweries in the country. And about two new breweries open every day. From 2014 to 2015, there was a 40% increase of breweries in Massachusetts alone. And to date, the rough number is about 123 in the state, and 30 of those are in Western Massachusetts, creating jobs, generating revenue, and that's ranging from the small, nano, one-person brewery like Stoneman to the 60-plus employee, the 60-plus 25-year uh, uh, BBC. And in Western Massachusetts, it starts from the ground as much as it can. We have people who are growing hops, and the breweries are using those hops. We have um, a maltster who's trying to figure out what kind of grain we can grow best in this region so that way the beer can be as local as possible. So this economic impact, does not it's not just brewery jobs, it extends to agriculture, retail, hospitality, distribution, and we even have a really awesome importing business that imports beer from around the world to 38 states in the country, right in Belchertown, Massachusetts. That's Shelton Brothers Importers. And they're tied into this Western Math Beer Week as well because they're here in Western Massachusetts. So overall, the more people who know about our beer scene here and what we're doing, uh, there's more opportunity for growth. Um, and that, I think, is a really great segue to introduce Representative Kulik, who's our state rep from Worthington, the vice chair of Ways and Means, and he's been a longtime supporter of local business, especially the brewery business. And he has, for us in this inaugural year, sponsored a proclamation to make this week official. So thank you very much. And Thanks, David. That was so well said, summing up the importance uh, to our regional economy, to agriculture, to small businesses, and to just enjoying beer, um, that all of these breweries who are represented here today and others who aren't, um, and what they contribute uh, to the culture and the success and the enjoyment of our part of the state. And so it's nice to hear that we're such a leader in Massachusetts in terms of the number of breweries. Uh, more all the time, and uh, the more the better when it comes to brewing great beers. Uh, so I'm really pleased that you've had this idea in a very short amount of time and grown this event uh, and having this successful week. So uh, thank you for all of that, and thank you for what all of you do in your own way to contribute um, to the appreciation of our breweries and um, the beer community in Western Mass. So nothing is really official until the legislature says so, right? <laughs> So I was very pleased to get a request from my friend Scott Bergeron uh, if the Massachusetts House of Representatives could uh, formally pass a resolution uh, celebrating Beer Week and acknowledging it and what it means to our economy. So uh, this did pass the House the other day. Let me read it. Um, it's a resolution recognizing June 11th through June 18th, 2016 as Western Massachusetts Craft Beer Week. Whereas the four western counties of our commonwealth, Berkshire, Hampshire, Hamden, and Franklin, enjoy a proud history that includes strong ties to agriculture, creativity, innovation, and community. And whereas the region produces grains and hops, as well as other vital crops, and is also home to the tremendous and valuable natural resource of pure water. Whereas these stellar ingredients blended by innovative entrepreneurs in our community, has set the region apart as a pioneer in the local brewing industry. And whereas this region and its craft provide employment for many farmers, malts, maltsters, brewers, purveyors, distributors, and enrichment for many more consumers. And whereas all of these tradesmen and women 
worked together to showcase the region's natural and creative contributions to the Commonwealth and beyond with justifiable pride. Therefore, be it resolved that the members of the Massachusetts House of Representatives hereby join with citizens, farmers, maltsters, brewers, purveyors, and distributors in the four counties of Berkshire, Hampshire, Hamden, and Franklin in recognizing June 11th through June 18th, 2016 as Western Massachusetts Beer Week and extend to them their sincere congratulations on their tremendous efforts in working together to share their craft, of which we are so proud with the rest of the Commonwealth and beyond. Be it further resolved that a copy of these re resolutions be forwarded by the Clerk of the House to the Berkshire Brewing Company on behalf of the craft brewers of Western Massachusetts. And it's signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo. And let me read the, my colleagues in the House who all co-sponsored this resolution. In addition to me, we have Representative Gail Ann Caridi of North Adams, Representative Benjamin Swan of Springfield, Representative Aaron Vega of Holyoke, Representative Jose Tosado of Springfield, Representative Angela Pupolo of Springfield, Representative Susanna Whips Lee of Athol, Representative Nicholas Boldiga of Agawam, Representative John W. Sybeck of South Hadley, Representative Paul Mark of Peru, and Representative Michael Finn of West Springfield. And we all are very proud to, of what you do. Uh, we want to support what you do. As Gary said, there are a lot of issues around liquor licensing and permitting and beer issues that are flowing through the legislature. Uh, we're there to stand with you and work with you to, to build your industry. Uh, to allow people to enjoy this kind of work and this product and uh, look forward to working with you. So this is the resolution and I'm very proud that uh, we passed it and I'm pleased to present it to Gary Bogoff. this. Um, it will be displayed with a lot of pride and it has to do with everybody. Um, it, you know, we do have the best job in the world. We, we make a lot of people happy and we hope it tastes good doing it. So That's cheers. Yes, this is my, what I was told to be my favorite part of the day. So, we're going to have to help a little bit because otherwise this thing's going to be rocketing across the building. And, and for those of you who haven't tasted In Hop Dino yet, I recommend it. Um, so, basically, what we're going to do is. Excuse me. Hit that thing as hard as you okay. need to, because we got to get in, and if it starts spurting beer, hit it again. Okay. So I'm told to hit this really hard. When I was told I was going to do this, I said I would pretend this is Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's therapy. Right. It's therapy. Give it That's right. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Don't be bashful. Good. Nice. Nicely done. Absolutely. The ceremonial mallet. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you very much. That was quite an honor. <laughs> Let's be Thank you. Oh, absolutely. So this is cast. All you have to do is turn those yep. on the spigot. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Help yourselves.